is the day that you've been waiting for the critique and the review of the flying nickel logo design challenge on the subreddit we have got a whopping 9.8 thousand members we are 200 members away from getting to the 10,000 member milestone on the subreddit so if you want to have a chance to be inspired get your logo critiqued and get some useful advice and maybe appear in a video like this get yourself on the reddit and start uploading your work today we are reviewing a challenge that we put out a few weeks ago we're doing a challenge on the reddit which you could tell was from this brief on Millanote. I put this out for anyone who wanted to take part. The deadline was a couple of days ago and I'm gonna review the top designs that the most voted logos on the Reddit until we've reached the maximum that I want to film. <laughs> this video is brought to you by Squarespace. Okay, the first one by Borough by Design, 73 upvotes. Let me see. What I'm looking for is whether you followed the brief, used creative assets and made it look appealing. I like that thumbnail. And this is your sort of process here. Okay, if you don't know, let's read the brief. So it is, you must create a logo using the information given in this brief. They would prefer a word mark that uses the color gray. The logo will be printed on the side of vehicles, take into account the company's values and preferences. The brief for this is, we are a company that produces new ways to keep track of your appointments by combining blockchain technology with an easy to use interface. So with this one, it obviously is more of a hand lettering inspired, I believe. The blockiness of it, obviously I understand that to be like a visual hint at blockchain. Not too sure though, it seems a bit complicated and I'm not having to go for it being complicated. I think it's just important when it comes to a modern logo for it to be simplistic. The colors, I understand that you wanted to use a bright color somewhere. So we've gone for the background and then the actual logo is gray. This is much better. I really like this. This works super well. Got the F and the N. That's so much nicer. I wish you just stuck with that icon though. This icon is great. Did you follow the brief? Yeah, you did. I like this one. It looks professional and clean. It's unique, it, but the problem is it kind of looks like an H as well. So we've got to factor that into the whole situation. The next one is this one with 41 upvotes and this is the fly nickel. Wow, there's an animation. I didn't even realize. So what we've got here, we've got fly nickel animates into the tick planning on a fly. Okay, so this is the icon. I like the icon, but the problem is it kind of reminds me of, I know it reminds me of a to-do app. This typography, obviously you've gone uber modern. And I think the more modern or try hard modern the type is, the cheaper it can look. So the only problem I have is that the type here does not fit. I would prefer just a really simplistic typeface. And I know a lot of people will be like, you know, that's not creative, but that's the honest truth. When it comes to briefs with these companies who want a modern logo, sometimes it's just best to work on the icon, which you've done, then get the logo type to look clean by choosing a nice clean typeface. The way that you've colored this is great. Obviously the logo is not gray here, I think you've got a gray version somewhere. You've got like a charcoal blue, gray background, it's pink. Does it scream a planner? It does. I think it does. You know, blockchain, you've got the block in there. Everything's blocked. So you've got the visual to the audio of what it's saying, you know, the blockchain. And then obviously the planner, the tick, it works well. I really like that. Although it does seem like a to-do list. It's a very fine balance there, but you've got you've done a pretty good job with that. Well done. Okay, the next one. Started designing a couple of weeks ago. Wow, let's have a look. So we've got the calendar, I'm guessing, the block or the chain, and then the CPU. Okay, so, so what you've done here is you've merged a few ideas into one. So you've not gone literal, you've gone abstract. And you went abstract to the inspiration of breaking it down. So you've got a calendar, a chain, and then the CPU. Really important. Sometimes abstract icons just work better. Obviously they prefer a logo type. So the brief stated that they need a logo type. What I want to see is the logo type. You could literally use this as the logo type and the way that you should present it is this is the logo type and this is the icon. Obviously they preferred a logo type and there's nothing wrong with giving an icon. It does mean though that you should spend extra attention in getting a logo type in there that looks nice. Nothing too fancy, but they want a logo type that looks good. Great job with the icon. If you started designing a couple of weeks ago, then you're a machine. Well done. 
Very good job. This next one with 28 upvotes. Hello everyone, this is my first post under this Reddit. And as you can see in the last picture, I tried to accommodate the items calendar, block and chain of my logo. Thanks for the challenge, Will. Fly nickel. Okay, so we've got a mock-up straight away, mock-up, and this is the logo. Let's look at the logo. So we've got a calendar, you've done the similar thing, block and chain. I really like that. The type though needs to change. You could go for something so much nicer than this. Everyone's gonna hate me. Obviously the type is a bit wide, but what you want is something, obviously the, the name is a bit wide, so you've got to go a bit more in depth and not just put a font in like I'm doing. But you see, even the font choice, you've got Montserrat. We can go for Gilroy. We could go for Fizby, which is a big one that I love. These are really professional fonts that you could use to make the work look even better for instance we could even change the color of this just making it look a bit different and more professional this is what people are looking for here obviously a lot of people are going to say no you don't want to do that because it's too simple but it's not this looks good this is what brands like and although people want to not be on the simple side they probably want to make something a bit more complicated and unique and that's fine but this is what i personally would have gone for if i was commissioned to do this logo design can i just say though the logo type although not the best i think you've done a great job with the icon and this one is going to get an award of what i can afford which is 50. great job i would just choose better mock-ups in my opinion but no great job there dude well done before i go into the next one i just want to thank the sponsor of this video the people that make this happen squarespace now you know me i'm no web designer but i am a graphic designer i own an agency in the north of england and I don't want to be spending my time on coding websites because I don't know how to code or do anything web design wizardry. The great thing about Squarespace is you don't need to know how to code to create a beautiful and well-designed website. In fact, they've got thousands of templates that you can use that you can fully customize. You can even add CSS if you do know how to code. I use Squarespace for all of my web needs, such as my website, which has got a contact page on there, my portfolio, which is currently in construction, We've got someone working on it. An online resource shop so I can sell products to you guys and you can sell products to me and other people. A blog. It's got everything you need on there. So if you're a designer looking for work, get a Squarespace website, make it your own, show what you're worth and get clients. If you'd like to try Squarespace for 14 days completely free, click the link down below in the description. And once you're ready and you want to have Squarespace and go live with it, there's 20% off for you there as well. Okay, next one. The Fly Nickel Challenge. I had a blast making this one. My goal was to bring the mood board to life with a modern logo design that follows the specs listed in the brief. The icon resembles the letter F, the blockchain, the pattern on the crypto coins, and more. Break down on slides. Ooh, crypto coins. Maybe a miscommunication. Overall, I've not looked at any of the other work. It is a bit, it looks cheap because of the pink shadow in the background. It looks too modern. We're targeting adults with a planner. It needs to look a bit more professional for businesses to use. What I do like is the components there. You, you've really honed in on the blockchain aspect and we can see that. And I like it how, you know, the blockchain looks like a calendar as well. Obviously you fit it all in and because of that, it's made it really complicated. What I would have done is you see this calendar one, go for the calendar and maybe cut out these you know, the Bitcoin. So I like the fact that it's the letter F. It is legible. It works well. Flying nickel, though the name, it needs to have something to do with the name. You've done a good job, dude. And I think what I like about this is that it is an F there for flying nickel. And you've got the calendar in there. I don't know if it's better than the uh, tick because it is about planning. So obviously when it comes to like planning, you've got calendars, tick lists, things like that. So people are gonna see that straight away. It depends on how simple you want to be. But what I can say is the background here looks way, way too modern. I wouldn't do that. I would keep it as simple as possible and really focus upon just the logo. See this, it looks like a game now. That's the problem. You've got a great concept, but the way that you're presenting it is way too neon and it looks like a cyberpunk game that's going on. I would just tone down a little bit. You know, when they say, when a client says something, it doesn't mean they're right, especially in a brief. You have to really sort of gain the experience of what they actually mean and use your own experience 
to know what will work. And in my opinion, you've done a great job in the concept, but the execution of that has meant that you put a load of colors in, which is detracted from how good the actual logo is. We're gonna go to this one here. Love the typeface. You've got an issue. We've got an issue, people. It's a kerning one. I love the typeface. I love the background. I love the binary in the background. It looks super clean, super minimal. I like it. Make sure to fix the kerning off your logo types. It's a difficult one, but you've got to spend time in it. See this? The Y is way too far away from the I, and it looks like it's been tracked. We don't want that. It all isn't kerned and it's not right. I will spend more time in bringing it together as tight as possible, then give it room. But make sure it's as tight as possible and still be readable. Then if you want a bit of room, give it room. But what I will say is the typeface choice is great. The icon itself, I love. This is my favorite one so far. It is super, super readable. I love the fact that you've got the star in there, which gives it a bit of uniqueness. Got the F in the icon. It looks like the corner of a calendar as well, if that makes sense. Let's have a look at the other ones. Yep, you focus on it. You've got the brief. I really like that. That's cool. Ooh, look at this. See this? I think you've got the wrong message. It's not blockchain as in like crypto. It is a calendar, basically. It's a planning service. It uses blockchain technology for it. But what I will say is that you've got a really good logo type and icon. You focused on it well enough. You've chosen a nice, clean typeface and the icon itself, very clean as well. It might be a bit sharp, but it's certainly clean. So many more of you guys have posted your work here on the subreddit. And unfortunately, I haven't got time to go through each and every one of them. But do not fear, there's always another chance for me to be looking at these because they are on the Reddit. So in the next Reddit critique, the normal one, I'll be looking at them. If you enjoyed this video, go ahead and subscribe down below and ding the bell. I'm going to be doing more of these sort of competitions against you guys. And we're going to up the stakes. We're going to give some prizes out as well. Prizes that you will want to so make sure to subscribe. Stick around and let me know what kind of competition you would like to see next on the subreddit. Go and join the subreddit. Nearly at 10,000 people. Go and do it now. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video. See you soon. Goodbye.